In physics, two wave sources are perfectly coherent if they have a constant phase difference and the same frequency. It is an ideal property of waves that enables stationary interference. It contains several distinct concepts, which are limiting cases that never quite occur in reality but allow an understanding of the physics of waves, and has become a very important concept in quantum physics. More generally, coherence describes all properties of the correlation between physical quantities of a single wave, or between several waves or wave packets. Interference is nothing more than the addition, in the mathematical sense, of wave functions. A single wave can interfere with itself, but this is still an addition of two waves. Constructive or destructive interference is a limit cases, and two waves always interfere, even if the result of the addition is complicated or not remarkable. When interfering, two waves can add together to create a wave of greater amplitude than either one or subtract from each other to create a wave of lesser amplitude than either one, depending on their relative phase. Two waves are said to be coherent if they have a constant relative phase. The amount of coherence can readily be measured by the interference visibility, which looks at the size of the interference fringes relative to the input waves. A precise mathematical definition of the degree of coherence is given by means of correlation functions. Spatial coherence describes the correlation between waves at different points in space, either lateral or longitudinal. Temporal coherence describes the correlation between waves observed at different moments in time. Both are observed in the Michelson-Morley experiment and Young's interference experiment. Once the fringes are obtained in the Michelson-Morley experiment, when one of the mirrors is moved away gradually, the time for the beam to travel increases and the fringes become dull and finally are lost, showing temporal coherence. Similarly, if in Young's double-slit experiment the space between the two slits is increased, the coherence dies gradually and finally the fringes disappear, showing spatial coherence. Introduction Coherence was originally conceived in connection with Thomas Young's double-slit experiment in optics but is now used in any field that involves waves such as acoustics, electrical engineering, neuroscience, and quantum mechanics. The property of coherence is the basis for commercial applications such as holography, the Sanyak gyroscope, radio antenna arrays, optical coherence tomography and telescope interferometers. Mathematical definition A precise definition is given at degree of coherence, coherence and correlation. The coherence of two waves expresses how well correlated the waves are as quantified by the cross-correlation function. The cross-correlation quantifies the ability to predict the phase of the second wave by knowing the phase of the first. As an example, consider two waves perfectly correlated for all times. At any time, phase difference will be constant. If, when combined, they exhibit perfect constructive interference, perfect destructive interference, or something in between but with constant phase difference, then it follows that they are perfectly coherent. As will be discussed below, the second wave need not be a separate entity. It could be the first wave at a different time or position. In this case, the measure of correlation is the autocorrelation function. Degree of correlation involves correlation functions. 545 to 550 examples of wave-like states. These states are unified by the fact that their behavior is described by a wave equation or some generalization thereof. Waves in a rope or slinky. Surface waves in a liquid, electromagnetic signals in transmission lines, sound, radio waves and microwaves, light waves, electrons, atoms and any other object. In most of these systems, one can measure the wave directly. Consequently, its correlation with another wave can simply be calculated. However, in optics one cannot measure the electric field directly as it oscillates much faster than any detector's time resolution. Instead, we measure the intensity of the light. 
Most of the concepts involving coherence which will be introduced below were developed in the field of optics and then used in other fields. Therefore, many of the standard measurements of coherence are indirect measurements, even in fields where the wave can be measured directly. Temporal coherence Temporal coherence is the measure of the average correlation between the value of a wave and itself delayed by tau at any pair of times. Temporal coherence tells us how monochromatic a source is. In other words, it characterizes how well a wave can interfere with itself at a different time. The delay over which the phase or amplitude wanders by a significant amount is defined as the coherence time tau c. At a delay of tau equals zero the degree of coherence is perfect, whereas it drops significantly as the delay passes tau equals tau c. The coherence length LC is defined as the distance the wave travels in time tau c. One should be careful not to confuse the coherence time with the time duration of the signal, nor the coherence length with the coherence area. The relationship between coherence time and bandwidth it can be shown that the larger the range of frequencies delta Fa wave contains, the faster the wave decorrelates. Thus there is a trade-off, 358 to 359, 560. Formally, this follows from the convolution theorem in mathematics, which relates the Fourier transform of the power spectrum to its autocorrelation. 572 examples of temporal coherence We consider four examples of temporal coherence. A wave containing only a single frequency is perfectly correlated with itself at all time delays, in accordance with the above relation. Conversely, a wave whose phase drifts quickly will have a short coherence time. Similarly, pulses of waves, which naturally have a broad range of frequencies, also have a short coherence time since the amplitude of the wave changes quickly. Finally, white light, which has a very broad range of frequencies, is a wave which varies quickly in both amplitude and phase. Since it consequently has a very short coherence time, it is often called incoherent. Monochromatic sources are usually lasers. Such high monochromaticity implies long coherence lengths. For example, a stabilized and monomode helium neon laser can easily produce light with coherence lengths of 300 meters. Not all lasers are monochromatic, however, LEDs are characterized by delta lambda 50 nanometers, and tungsten filament lights exhibit delta lambda 600 nanometers. So these sources have shorter coherence times than the most monochromatic lasers. Holography requires light with a long coherence time. In contrast, optical coherence tomography uses light with a short coherence time. Measurement of temporal coherence in optics. Temporal coherence is measured in an interferometer such as the Michelson interferometer or Max Zender interferometer. In these devices, a wave is combined with a copy of itself that is delayed by time tau. A detector measures the time average intensity of the light exiting the interferometer. The resulting interference visibility gives the temporal coherence at delay tau. Since for most natural light sources, the coherence time is much shorter than the time resolution of any detector, the detector itself does the time averaging. Consider the example shown in figure 3. At a fixed delay, here 2 tau c, an infinitely fast detector would measure an intensity that fluctuates significantly over a time t equal to tau c. In this case, to find the temporal coherence at 2 tau c, one would manually time average the intensity. Spatial coherence in some systems, such as water waves or optics, wave-like states can extend over one or two dimensions. Spatial coherence describes the ability for two points in space, x1 and x2, in the extent of a wave to interfere, when averaged over time. More precisely, the spatial coherence is the cross-correlation between two points in a wave for all times. If a wave has only one value of amplitude over an infinite length, it is perfectly spatially coherent. 
The range of separation between the two points over which there is significant interference is called the coherence area ACK. This is the relevant type of coherence for the Young's double-slit interferometer. It is also used in optical imaging systems and particularly in various types of astronomy telescopes. Sometimes people also use spatial coherence to refer to the visibility when a wave-like state is combined with a spatially shifted copy of itself. Examples of spatial coherence Spatial coherence Figure 5 A plane wave with an infinite coherence length Figure 6 A wave with a varying profile and infinite coherence length Figure 7 a wave with a varying profile and finite coherence length. Figure 8. A wave with finite coherence area is incident on a pinhole. The wave will diffract out of the pinhole. Far from the pinhole the emerging spherical wave fronts are approximately flat. The coherence area is now infinite while the coherence length is unchanged. Figure 9. A wave with infinite coherence area is combined with a spatially shifted copy of itself. Some sections in the wave interfere constructively and some will interfere destructively. Averaging over these sections, a detector with length d will measure reduced interference visibility. For example a misaligned Mach Zender interferometer will do this. Consider a tungsten light bulb filament. Different points in the filament emit light independently and have no fixed phase relationship. In detail, at any point in time the profile of the emitted light is going to be distorted. The profile will change randomly over the coherence time. Since for a white light source such as a light bulb is small, the filament is considered a spatially incoherent source. In contrast, a radio antenna array has large spatial coherence because antennas at opposite ends of the array emit with a fixed phase relationship. Light waves produced by LAs are often have high temporal and spatial coherence. Spatial coherence of laser beams also manifests itself as speckle patterns and diffraction fringes seen at the edges of shadow. Holography requires temporally and spatially coherent light. Its inventor, Dennis Gabor, produced successful holograms more than 10 years before lasers were invented. To produce coherent light he passed the monochromatic light from an emission line of a mercury vapor lamp through a pinhole spatial filter. In February 2011 it was reported that helium atoms cooled to near absolute zero, Bose-Einstein condensate state can be made to flow and behave as a coherent beam as occurs in a laser. Spectral coherence Waves of different frequencies can interfere to form a pulse if they have a fixed relative phase relationship. Conversely, if waves of different frequencies are not coherent, then, when combined, they create a wave that is continuous in time. The temporal duration of the pulse is limited by the spectral bandwidth of the light according to, which follows from the properties of the Fourier transform and results in Kupf-Muller's uncertainty principle. If the phase depends linearly on the frequency then the pulse will have the minimum time duration for its bandwidth, otherwise it is chirped. Measurement of spectral coherence Measurement of the spectral coherence of light requires a nonlinear optical interferometer, such as an intensity optical correlator, frequency resolved optical gating, or spectral phase interferometry for direct electric field reconstruction. Polarization coherence Light also has a polarization, which is the direction in which the electric field oscillates. Unpolarized light is composed of incoherent light waves with random polarization angles. The electric field of the unpolarized light wanders in every direction and changes in phase over the coherence time of the two light waves. An absorbing polarizer rotated to any angle will always transmit half the incident intensity when averaged over time. If the electric field wanders by a smaller amount the light will be partially polarized so that at some angle, the polarizer will transmit more than half the intensity. 
If a wave is combined with an orthogonally polarized copy of itself delayed by less than the coherence time, partially polarized light is created. The polarization of a light beam is represented by a vector in the Poincaré sphere. For polarized light, the end of the vector lies on the surface of the sphere, whereas the vector has zero length for unpolarized light. The vector for partially polarized light lies within the sphere applications. Holography coherent superpositions of optical wave fields include holography. Holographic objects are used frequently in daily life in banknotes and credit cards. Non-optical wave fields further applications concern the coherent superposition of non-optical wave fields. In quantum mechanics for example one considers a probability field, which is related to the wave function. Here the applications concern, among others, the future technologies of quantum computing and the already available technology of quantum cryptography. Additionally the problems of the following subchapter are treated. Quantum coherence. In quantum mechanics, all objects have wave-like properties. For instance, in Young's double-slit experiment electrons can be used in the place of light waves. Each electron's wave function goes through both slits, and hence has two separate split beams that contribute to the intensity pattern on a screen. According to standard wave theory these two contributions give rise to an intensity pattern of bright bands due to constructive interference interlaced with dark bands due to destructive interference on a downstream screen. This ability to interfere and diffract is related to coherence of the wave. The association of an electron with a wave is unique to quantum theory. When the incident beam is represented by a quantum pure state, the split beams downstream of the two slits are represented as a superposition of the pure states representing each split beam. The quantum description of imperfectly coherent paths is called a mixed state. A perfectly coherent state has a density matrix that is a projection onto the pure coherent state. While a mixed state is described by a classical probability distribution for the pure states that make up the mixture, macroscopic scale quantum coherence leads to novel phenomena, the so-called macroscopic quantum phenomena. For instance, the laser, superconductivity and superfluidity are examples of highly coherent quantum systems whose effects are evident at the macroscopic scale. The macroscopic quantum coherence, O, oh, Penrose and L, on Sager, Viz, Rev. 104, 576, C, N, Jang, Rev, Mod, Fizz. 34, for superfluidity, and laser light, is related to first-order coherence, ODLRO, while superconductivity is related to second-order coherence, ODLRO, superfluidity in liquid He4 is related to a partial Bose-Einstein condensate. Here, the condensate portion is described by a multiply-occupied single particle state, e.g., W. Cummings and J. R. Johnston, Viz. Rev. 151, Arata 164, 270. Regarding the occurrence of quantum coherence at a macroscopic level, it is interesting to note that the classical electromagnetic field exhibits macroscopic quantum coherence. The most obvious example is the carrier signal for radio and TV. They satisfy Glaber's quantum description of coherence.